Hey everyone, today I'll be doing this holiday inspired eye look. I'll be doing a uh, warm and toasty ish eye look. I'm gonna try my best, okay? So, the star of the show today will be this Too Faced gingerbread palette, which I love. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't taste like gingerbread, but you know, it smells very good, so that's it. So, first. We're gonna start off with some scotch tape. Now around this time of year, you are usually using your scotch tape to wrap presents, but you can sneak some away for your own pleasure. Actually, I should put my hair up first. So, nothing gets in the way. So basically, you're just gonna take scotch tape and then just basically line it up like so. Mm. Okay. So first I'm going to Prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. Starting with the eyes today because this is going to be very glittery, very fun. But most likely there will be some fallout. I'm trying to avoid that. So now we're going to go in with the eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to set this all in with powdered sugar, which is this shade right here. I'm going to start adding in a little color with gingerbread, which is that shade right here. I'm going to start lightly warming that up in my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with where's my hmm. I'm gonna go in with reindeer paws, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna take this little smudgy brush and I'm just going to Kind of use it as kind of like an eyeliner. And just bring it in. Uh, 
actually going to bring a little bit of the reindeer paws more in the inner corners. I'm just going to put a little bit. Just like that. Then take a clean brush and just blend all that in. I'm gonna pop in a little bit more reindeer paws. So now I'm going to go in with hmm, a mix of Bake It Till You Make It and Spice Rum, which is here and here. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to pop that in the inner corner where we had reindeer paws. Tickled. Okay. So now for a little pop, I'm going to go in with the actual shade Warm and Toasty. So I'm just going to pack it on this Morphe Y18 brush and then I'm just going to press it in the center of my lid. Yes, right here. Go back in with gingerbread to clean up around the area. To go back in the crease. Okay. So next, we're gonna move on to eyeliner. So we're not completely done with the eyeshadow, just for on top. So I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. I'm taking this angled brush. Basically, I'm just going to do a regular cat eye. Now I'm going to go over it with um, a liquid liner. And I'm using the Tarte Sex Kitten liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to go over 
everything. Sorry, just show like blocking you guys. That's not very nice. Okay, and I have a little thing right there. I'm just going to clean that up. Hmm. I'm just gonna go back in with warm and toasty and just pop that. I'm going to add a little spiked eggnog, which is this shade right here, with this Luxie medium angled brush, and I'm just going to dust it right over there. Now I'm going to pull off my tape. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I love using tape on my face. It's so rewarding. So now we're gonna go back to the eyeshadow. I just wanna add a little smokiness on the lower lash because it's so smoky and fun up here and the bottom lash is like kinda lonely. So I'm going to smoke out a little bit of gingerbread down there. It smells so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm blanking like a crazy person. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, I try, but I don't know if my eyes can handle it, to be honest. So we're not completely done with the eyes, we'll come back to it, but right now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the face. So, where is... Uh, how come I cannot find anything? Oh, here it is. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. So now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I haven't used this in a while, but I remember I used to love it. And then I'm just going to blend that in. So next, concealer, 
using this Yves Saint Laurent Touche Gloss High Coverage Reading Concealer. Did I engrave my name here? I could have sworn I did. Yeah, it's in there. I don't know if you can see. And it's there. <laughs> I haven't used this in a while either. So I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes. Move the forehead. A little down the nose, a little here, a little there, a little down there. And just right in front of Sorry, I've been sick for quite a bit. This winter so fun. So, does skin look good? I am going to set it a little bit. Warmer CA. Translucent. Actually, first I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier um, pressed setting powder. So I'm just going to use the other side and just rub it in. Sorry if the lighting's off, I feel like between my lights and then the windows open. So please excuse my lights if they're being a little weird. I'm just gonna set it a little bit. So next, brows. I know you probably been looking at my brows. I'm like, oh, your eye looks so good, but those brows, like, I know. I know. I need to find my brow stuff first. I'm sorry, I'm so disorganized today. Just... So I'm gonna take this City Color Bold Brow. Yes, it's very used. I use it, well, I used to use it quite a lot. And this Anastasia VB brush. I'm just going to normally do what I do with my brows. So now I'm going to use this Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel just to lock them in place. Okay, next, the face. So I am going to contour a little bit. I'm gonna use this Hula bronzer, and I'm just going to add a little definition into my cheeks and then chisel out my nose a little bit because why not? It's a holiday party. Okay, 
Okay, and next, the nose. Using the same bronzer, and I'm gonna use this Morphe M572 brush. And I'm just going to give my nose a little shape. I'm going to bake, set up my bake. So I already got my Laura Mercier translucent. I'm just going to pop it right in there. Underneath my eyes. I'm going to do a tiny bit down my nose. Whatever. I tried. And then get some um, here. Okay. So while we're baking, I'm gonna go back to the eyes. So I'm going to take my Surat eyelash curler, of course, and perk up our lashes. Okay. And then I'm going to prime my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. Usually when I'm doing more um, glamier looks like this, I'll put on a lash primer instead of putting falsies on. Just for a little more glamour. And then get the bottom lashes too. And then I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And just generously coat your lashes. So our lashes are nice and fluffy. I'm going to put a different mascara on for the bottom lashes. I'm gonna use this Surat mascara. I don't know. And I like using for the bottom lashes because of this brush. So you can really get in there and get on. Sorry, I think I got something in my lashes. Not my lashes, my eye. Ooh. Okay. Good thing I have some Q-tips.
Okay. So now I'm gonna wipe off. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna put on a little blush. I'm gonna take this Morphe blush palette and I'm going to, hmm. I think I'm gonna go into Driven, this shade right here. I'm really loving this look. I didn't think I was gonna love this look as much as I do. Now I have to go somewhere. <laughs> It would have been perfect if I, had, if I had a holiday party today. Could have just worn this. Now I'm gonna go into this NARS Orgasm palette and I can get it. Okay, I got it open. And I'm going to take Double Orgasm, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna take my sponge and just load it up like so. And I'm just going to press it in. Sorry, I'm blinking so much. I feel like I have something in my eye. I could totally use a fan right now. And we're back. Just like that. Not a little too much here. And then a little down my nose. Right there, Cupid's bow. Okay. And then last but not least, the lips. So I didn't want to do anything too crazy since you have this beautiful glamorous eye. And typically when I do a certain look, like if I play with the eyes, I leave the lips alone. Play with the lips, leave the eyes alone. So I'm just gonna do a neutral. This is from YSL. This is number 52. I'm just going to... And yes, I got the sparkly cover and engraved my name. So... Oh, most importantly, I'm going to set my face with this Huda Boot, excuse me, Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face. I'm just going to... Okay. So this is your finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it for you. Honestly, you don't even have to wear this to the party. Honestly, I would just wear this to the supermarket. That's how much I love this look. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any suggestions that you have. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.